Hello everyone and welcome to Pokemon TCG Center. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel or like us on Facebook from now on. And you can also check the CCG Castle, our official uh, store who sell the Pokemon cards and merchandise for really nice prices. And you can find the great deals each month. And we also provide you discount codes um, on your purchases. So also with every purchases you're getting the points and with uh, that points you can redeem them in the future for some discounts or something other. And we also have the latest uh, videos and deck coverage for the Pokemon TCG and we also do some unboxing and we will also do a Japanese unboxing in the future so don't forget to click the uh, YouTube, subscribe and uh, like us on Facebook so you can stay on with uh, uh, us and the future videos. Today we'll be looking at the top 10 non-EX or non-Mega Evolution um, cards that we can actually find in the current, uh, in the current uh, standard format. So in my opinion this is the top 10 cards that I would like to pick. So yeah, there was like 30 cards that I actually need to pick between, so I decided to pick those 10. It was pretty hard in my opinion to choose them. So on the number 10 I decided to put the Wild Plume. While upon with the irritating pollen, which says um, each player can play any item cards from his or her hand. Yeah, of course. Um, it's pretty strong locked uh, lock card. Um, you can play it with a lot of other combination cards. With, uh, for example, Rage Ice, if you play against those heavy X type decks, so you can prevent your opponent by playing item cards. And with Rage Ice, once you hit, you can prevent your opponent by playing. Uh, uh, Opponent EX cards by taking you, and of course, while them have true retreat cost. But if you manage to uh, find a float stone on it uh, earlier, you're pretty much safe. If your opponent don't play zero sick and cannot one hit knock out your wild plume. On the number nine, I decide to put the crow, but also that means that you will be uh, fine on that position. Uh, pretty much a goal bet because Crobat with surprise bite when you play it from your hand, uh, you can put. Um, three damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon and it's pretty good because you can remove it from the play with AZs and super scoop up and uh, play again and again over and over and spread damages around the board and with the skill dive you can hit for 30 um, to one of your opponent's bench or for the, or with the muscle band for the 50 one of your opponent's active Pokemon for free retreat and resistance to um, fightings with it, which is pretty good in my opinion. On the number 8 I decide to pick Havlucha with the Shining Spirit. Um, damage from this Pokemon attack isn't affected by weakness or resistance, but with the Flying Press, actually you can for one energy hit for 60 or 120 if you have strong Muscle Band and Stadium for your opponent's EX Pokemons. Uh, also if you play it with the uh, Garbodor, you can also knock out those um, lighting type Pokemons because in that case weakness and resistance will count on the Hawlucha for a treat which is also good even if you start with it and you cannot attack your opponent's Pokemon which is not EX you can just free retreat anytime anytime you want. On the number seven I decided to pick the baby evil tall because it is it, it is just too strong. I believe in winning for 30 or must have been 50 and you can attach one energy from your disco pile to one of your bench Pokemon. The second attack it doesn't really matter because you will probably never use it. It's just for the first attack because you can hit for 50 and uh, um, accelerate your bench Pokemons. This is pretty good in the standard and it was also popular with the expanded because you can uh, also play those attacks with the dark patches and you can also have uh, two energies per turn without any problems and you can also spread the damage around the board. On the number six I decided to put the new card that was printed in the breakthrough and this one is the artillery. Absol hand ability once during your turn you may draw cards until you have five cards in your hand which is pretty good. Uh, something like shaming but uh, Shaman will only count when you play it from your hand and you will be able to draw until you have 6 but uh, with the artillery you can actually draw cards every turn and this is pretty good and pretty um, cheap um, substitute for those expensive shamans. The only thing is the problem that the artillery is stage 1 and uh, but anyway even if it's stage 1 your opponent will only take one prize instead of two by knocking him out and you'll be able to draw cards every turn until you have five in your hands something like the Volt, Vol, uh, electrode from the plasma freeze I think but he was only able to draw four cards 
and also good is uh, that he have the 90 HP so you can search it with the level ball. On the place number 5 I decide to put the West Queen, also the 90 HP Pokemon for a treat, you can search it with the level ball, intelligence gathering, 10 damage and you can draw cards until you have 6, but the beer range is so strong with the double call risk you can um, does 20 damage plus 10 more for each Pokemon in your discard pile. This card is so good for the expanded uh, with those live deals and uh, Sable Lights, but it's also good in the standard format because with those unknowns and the night marches you can combine it and play it in your deck and it's so good and so cheap in my opinion one of the best uncommons that was printed in the last like two or three years. Let's move to the number four on the number 4 is the Joltik. The only problem with this card is the 30 HP, but the Night March attack, we all know what the Night March can do. 20 damage times the number of Night Marches you have in the discard pile. So basically with the 9 Night Marches and the Muscle Band, you can hit her 200, or with the 8 Night Marches and the Muscle Band, you can knock out pretty much every EX in the format. And that's pretty good. Um, yeah, you can find it with the level ball and it's so good because you don't even need to have the dimension wall in order to attack with it. The only problem is the 30 HP, but who doesn't matter with the 30 HP because your opponents will anyway take only one prize card with it. Number 3, the new Magnezone with Magnetic Circuit, um, ability which allows you to, um, during your turn, um, before you attack, you might attach as many energy cards, of course, lightings, as you want to one of your Pokemon, and this is pretty good. Something like the Blastoise um, from the Boundaries Cross that was printed like two years ago. But uh, this one is the acceleration for the lighting type Pokemons, and basically with the magnetic circuit you can accelerate your Pokemons as like as many times as you want, and it's good for the new Pikachu EX and those uh, Raikou decks. But in my opinion, one of the best cards. Um, in the current format, so that's the reason why I put it in the top 3 and it's also in the top 5, but I decided to put it in the top 3 just because of its ability. Number 2 is the Rage Ice. Uh, with the Rage Ice you cannot miss. It has two strong attacks, the first one is the Ace Beam for the two energies, flip a coin if hits your opponent attack the Pokemon is now paralyzed, and the second one for the uh, one double colorless and the one um, Water Energy Resistance Blazer for the 70 or for the 90 if you have Muscle Band and it says during your opponent next turn prevent all effects of attacks including damage done to this Pokemon by Pokemon EXs and in my opinion this is so strong card especially of those EX heavy EX decks because once you hit for 70 and once you use this deck your opponent EX Pokemon cannot damage you and you're pretty much safe it's not strong like those Pokemons that was uh, printed with the safeguard because they was prevented by those EX attacks from the beginning of the game but yeah pretty much when you hit for it the resistance blizzard you have the same um, ability but it cannot be uh, negated with those Garbodors for example. And on the first place I decided to put um, the Trevenant card because in the current format it's pretty good and popular. You can have it turn one with the wall without any problem. And if you have, um, um, you can search it with the heavy ball without any problem and with the wall, of course. And you can play item cards, and your opponent cannot play item cards as long as Revenant is your active Pokemon. And that's pretty good and strong. And you can also use Tree Slam attack for the 60 and spread 20 more damage to two of your opponent's bench Pokemon. In my opinion, this is the good. Um, it's weak on those um, uh, Darkness Pokemons, which maybe is a uh, problem because Darkness Pokemons were always popular, especially those Evil Tals and the Evil Tall EXs. But yeah, you cannot play item cards that's good, something like the Seismito DX, but you don't need to attack with it just because you can attack with, for example, Gengar EX and uh, leave your opponent's active Pokemon poisoned and move back to the 
bench and having your Trevenant in the front with forced curse and prevent your opponent by playing item cards, that's pretty much like 70% of uh, win. But uh, I must tell you that the Trevenant uh, Ganger deck, for example, if you ever manage to fight against it, have out loss against two shamings in your deck because you can just um, sky return each turn for the 30 and leave uh, your opponent's active Pokemon with the damage counters and the maximum damage that he can output to your shaman is like 80 damage um, with the muscle band with the Gengar and 10 from poison which is 90 and you can just carry turn each turn and uh, win the game without any problems so yeah that's the uh, tip if you ever find yourself in that trouble so that was my top 10 cards non EX cards uh, in the current standard format so I hope you enjoy watching this video don't forget to miss my channel for more future videos. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day and until the next video, goodbye.